Anticipating the financial chaos of reconquered Europe, the ASF has provided millions of invasion dollars to serve as a temporary currency until local finances can be stabilized. Staff officers of the Army Service Forces have long ago become familiar with the terrain of every invasion coastline, have studied in minute detail the landing beaches and ports of the enemy. When a long planned movement of invasion begins, the signal for the execution of the entire complex program passes down the network of ASF command. From those who have long known the whole strategy to those whose duty it is to perform the operations of detail. In each of the 10 areas of the US controlled by an ASF service command, things begin to happen, of which the impact will be felt only later, thousands of miles away. In Omaha and Dallas, from the Great Lakes to the Gulf, a mighty army is on the move, quietly and secretly sending its weapons, stores, and men toward its appointed rendezvous, the port of embarkation. <laughs> to transport by rail a single armored division, 75 trains are needed, and all must move simultaneously, load and unload within a space of hours. A typical invasion force capable of succeeding in a major mission would require many full divisions, including specialized troops of every type, from paratroops as the spearhead of airborne attack, to regiments of wax assigned to non-combatant duty at invasion outposts some of them not far from the fighting lines. 